this is Melinda with Pillow Talk Live. I have got one of the most amazing marketers, designers, magazine editors that you will ever find in the IE. I got to introduce you to my girl, Kaimi Rochelle. She's awesome. Kaimi, tell me about what it is that you do with your marketing. I do. I'm a full service PR firm. Most people hire me for internet advertisement. So I take their information and blast it out to thousands and thousands of people and post it all over the place and networks within the lifestyle community, copies it and sends it out, puts it in their newspapers and all types of things. So that's that's one portion of what I do. And Daryl here is one of my clients, so I'm working with him. That's why I had to come down here to two events tonight. Shawnee O'Neill had one in Hollywood and in here, so I wanted to come by here also, step through. And then, you know, we got the Jazz Festival coming up. But I'm so surprised to see you. I'm just so happy to see Pillow Talk Live. I know, I'm so excited. You saw the radio show? Yes, well, what we're doing now is we're getting ready to go global, baby. Okay. So we're gonna take it a little bit farther. Okay. But one thing I have to say about what you do, guys, what I love about Kaimi is she's diverse. She's not just doing entertainment like this. I can find all of my church events. She's multicultural. She has all of the uh, races and religions and diversity involved in her marketing. So that means we get the opportunity to hit a whole lot of realms. For, for businesses and promoters that don't have that don't have a budget for advertising, they can go to my fan page. You can post your information there, your press releases, your events, and we share it. Now it doesn't go as wide as my major internet um, internet advertisement, but it does go to about three to five thousand people. And you can go there at facebook.com forward slash KRPR firm. So I'm Kami Rochelle, I'm so proud of you. Nice to see you. I haven't seen you in so long. You know what, guys? I've been hiding. I'm sorry. Okay, but i got to ask her a pillow talk question because okay. this is my girl. Okay. Now, this has been my general question. If you had a guy in Afghanistan and you wanted to send him a really nice package, what would be in that package? If I had a man that's in Afghanistan, okay, what I would do is, but you know, the, the, the army will go through everything because I would just... Take some of mine. I'll She's got out. porno. She's got broad. My stuff and send it all over there so he can see me, feel me, smell me, and remember me. Cause he that's too far away. You know, as they say absent make the mind go fonder, but sometimes it's to other people. So I'd be they'd be editing and x-rating us out and kicking us out by my package. So we don't want to send my package. So come stay here in the United States. Okay. Three strings. <laughs> just worn for you, baby. She said just oh, me. worn. Shut up, me. No, 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 Dad. I love it. You know what? That's what we get no on pillow talk. No postcards here. It'd be some real stuff. It's all about honesty on Pillow Talk Live. We're just keeping it real right now. You know what I'm saying? Keeping it real. She's like, if I'm going to send something, I'm going to send something. They all going to know me because he's going to be like, what did she do? But it's okay, baby. I'm coming home. I'll be home, baby. That's why she keeps her men right here. Thank you, guys. Pillow Talk Live. I am so excited. I'm so grateful for you. I'm so grateful for everybody that came out tonight. And we will see you soon. Thank you, people. Bye-bye.